This will be a quick overview on the Brian genetic full leg pads, which I picked up from Westwood Sports, Brookfield, Connecticut, in late 2019. Due to injury and quarantine, I've only used them about 15 times, however, one of which led to a tournament win out on Long Island prior to lockdown in New York City. The graphic, as you can see, is the Halak graphic from a few years ago with a color scheme inspired by Shrimp Beverage Company. This is quite a bit of a departure for me as my last three sets of pads have all been BU themed. I played roller hockey during my time there and I decided to just try to continue to live out my glory days in the wonderful world of beer league hockey. The bootstrap, as you can see, I've gone with leather and the skate lace toe ties, basically just stuck in my waist. However, the rest of the pad is stock. As you can see, the standard one, three, four flex, which gives me Nice stiff thigh that I like. A little bit of flex in the knee, not too much, but the flex of the boot, which is something I desire. The pads are 32 plus one, I'm not a big guy. And if I open up the strapping here, this is all just a standard leg channel. The nice thick padding at the shin, nice thick knee block for landing and again just the standard boot the zero nine here is a callback to BU's national championship win in 2009 and a small way of me keeping the BU theme while going with a radically different color scheme but we'll come over here and grab my last pair of pads you can see the difference between the original genetics the genetic four. I tend to keep my gear for a very long time as you can see. The genetic, the original Gen X are from 2012. Obviously you can see the BU theme I was mentioning before. Here you can see the difference in thickness between the two pads and the difference in flex. Obviously the genetic ones are built to be much more flexible and they're also older. So I'm hoping the stiffer knee and thigh, which I've gone with here, will uh, keep, help the Gen X Force keep their shape a bit better. Again, because I tend to keep my pads for a really long time. In our calf knee area, you can see the genetics had standard leather, Clarino, whereas the Gen X Force, they've moved on to the Opti Slide, which slides extremely well and keeps, her, keeps it during the crappy ice in third period, especially where I play at Chelsea Pierce. There's also less going on than on the light channel, which makes the Genetic Force 1 a lot easier to put on, and 2 significantly reduces some of the excess weight. Of course, most of the weight savings will be in the actual core of the pad, as Brian's, as Brian's has gone with some lighter foams, stiffer foams, and an overall thinner profile. So that's basically it. I know that was uh, pretty quick and it's not the first time I've had to say that, unfortunately. At some point I would like to hopefully get back on the ice soon so I can move around, show how it slides and have everyone on the internet laugh at me. Anyway, thanks for, ha thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video.